Welcome back everybody, Dave the Gamer here. Today, just wanted to make you guys a video on how to get fishing one to 300 made easy. So I found a great guide on Wowhead and just wanted to make a video format of this. I will link the website if you wanted to actually read through everything they had to say, but I like to do a little video format, add my little twist to it. Uh, but feel free to pause some uh, throughout the video to be able to capture some of the important things that you need to know about. Or like I said, check out the link. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up on the screen all of the different things I'm talking about, where to get the trainers, what items to boost levels, the level requirements, a map of where to fish everything and how to make some money and uh, what to fish for to make money. So let's get started. So one to 300 fishing made easy. First, you want to look at your different horde and alliance trainers. So I'll pop those up on the screen so you can actually check those out. And then once you actually get up a little bit higher, like once you hit 125, you're able to buy the expert fishing from Old Man Hemming in Booty Bay for one gold. So from there, you'll then, once you're ready to get from 225 up, you need to do one of the quests that uh, makes you basically fish for a couple different fish scattered all throughout the game. So it's kind of a pain in the ass because you have to fly around. It does take a little bit of time. Super easy. You have to be at least level 35. And I will put that map up on there so you guys are actually able to see the exact locations where he wants you to go to actually be able to get the fucking shit. So there's Swamp of Sorrows, there's Desolence, Stranglethorn Vale, and Fairless. All four places you actually have to go and fish a very specific item. Sometimes you'll get it first shot, sometimes it takes 5-10 minutes to really fish to get that item. Super easy quest, but then, then you can move on. So some of the important things that you need to keep in mind while fishing, it's definitely a small investment but helps a lot, is you can get lures and fishing rods that actually boost your overall fishing, along with some other things we'll talk about. But the actual fishing lures, like a shiny bobber and different aquatic fish lens, like they're going to give you plus 25, plus 50. So being able to get those huge bonuses are actually able to help you, one, you don't want to... Even if a zone says 225 is the bare minimum for you to actually go fish there. Well, what happens is, yes, you could fish there, but there's a high chance uh, when it uh, actually goes down, like the little bobber goes down, that the fish can still get away. So using these uh, skill boosts will actually help make sure none of that actually happens and you catch the fish every single time. Because fishing, uh, like, don't get me wrong, is boring enough as it is. I actually make decent money. I make, you know, 50, 60, 70 gold an hour fishing when you get up to the closer to the 300 gold range. So it's not bad gold per hour, super easy. You know, you could just do it, dick around. You don't actually have to pay attention very much. There's an add-on you can get. I'll put that on the screen. Check that out. It actually allows you to turn up the sound of when the bobber goes down. So if you're just watching Netflix or something, you could easily hear when it's time to click. I thought it was something a little simple and it also tracks how many fish you got. So along with the fishing bobbers, you can also, like I said, the fishing poles. A couple easy ones, especially you could buy right off the auction house usually, is the big iron fishing rod. It's plus 20 to fishing, which is pretty damn good. So the ones past the big iron fishing rod, um, you actually have to do a quest or win the fishing contest to be able to get those fishing rods. I haven't got those other ones, but plus 20 alone is something great. I mean, like I said, pick it up off the auction house for 510 gold. Besides fishing bobbers and fishing rods, you can also get the lucky fishing hat, which is plus five, which is from also the fishing contest. You can get boots that have plus five from the fishing contest. You can get plus two enchant to gloves. And then a really nice one is high test fishing line, which is actually also from the fishing contest. So when the fishing contest comes around, definitely want to get involved in that because if you want to make decent gold per hour fishing, it's nice to have all these different boosts, especially when you're in like Azera actually fishing and you're, you need a high chance to catch stone scale, uh, stone scale eel and different fish like that. You don't want no chance of anything ever getting away to maximize your gold per hour. So you want to make sure you get to that fishing contest when it is live and, you know, try to win that shit.
So on the screen now is the different fish available at different times. So you have a much greater chance at catching, as an example, night fin snapper, stone scale eel, and raw sun scale salmon from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. And as you see, depending on the time of your server, changes your drop rate of actually getting that. And when I say changes it, it's like going from like, 8% chance to like 33% chance of getting them. So I highly recommend if you're serious about making gold per hour to only farm during these times, like from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., I would not be fishing anywhere. That is not fucking worth it. Don't do it. So really you wanna go in the morning or after 6 p.m. for the most amount of money. On the screen now, I'm not gonna read over all of it, but this is a nice thing that you could screenshot along with the second one, I'm gonna show you the map. But this shows you the fishing skill needed for Alliance and Horde in different areas you can go as you're leveling up. So it tells you the bare minimum you need and with all those other level boost, it's just gonna make it much easier for you to never miss and to level up faster. Obviously the end goal is to get the 300 so you're able to actually start making some decent money. So this is the map I was talking about. As you see, it breaks down exactly what you need. So it tells you what uh, actual fishing, like the hashtag, the fish, is what you need. So as an example, in the top left, dark shore, hashtag one. So you need one fishing to fish in dark shore. The equal signs means at 75, there's a 0% chance of you missing the fish. So depending on where you go, like as Jera, I wouldn't want to go there at 205 with no fishing bonus because you're going to miss a lot. So these are definitely big things to take in consideration. Like look at Eastern Plague Lands. Like you got to be 330 just to fish there. So you need max fishing plus some of the stuff. And with everything all in all, then like if you have the fishing bobber, the rod, the, the enchants and all of that, then you can. But without all of that, there's still a high chance of missing. And missing stuff is definitely a big thing when, uh, when you're making, trying to make gold per hour. So during your fishing also, you're gonna come across like wreckages. Those will have iron mithril trunks in them that have different items. I mean, they could be anywhere from 50 silver to two, three gold in one of those. So if you ever see them along your routes, pick those up. There's also black label rum that you'll find in some of those fishing holes and uh, like you'll see different fishing poles and those are like if your like little bobber is right in there or right outside the circle there's a very high chance you're going to get that type of fish like a firefin snapper is very popular in stranglethorn vale uh, so like you'll see a ton of different fishing poles while you're actually going around that area and in there is when you're going to get that fish the iron or mithril bound trunk and the black label rum. So that's where you can get those different things from. So I definitely highly, highly recommend if you do see a pool pop up that you're actually fishing in that little area so you have a higher chance to get more gold if that's what you're after. If you're just leveling fishing, it's not a big deal. So I wanted to talk about the top fish to make gold from. So what, you, what you're really going for when you get the 300. So in Azera, there is Essence of Water pools uh, that you can get Essence of Water and, and you can also get Elemental Waters from. So Azera is one of the best places to fish once you are max level with all the other stuff. But some of the main things you're uh, going for, Stone Scale Eel, which sell for almost a gold a piece. They're used to make greater stone shield uh, potions along with flask of titans. So it's a big needed material that you want to be fishing for. Night fin snappers, which are great for mana users as a food. It gives them eight mana per five seconds. And then you also want the black mouth fish. So they are turned into black mouth oil, which is used for free action potion, which is great for PVP, some boss encounters, and will also be good for TBC. So the, those are the three fish that you really want to be hunting for. So make sure you check the times of the day where they fall in. Uh, the black mouth fish, I call it. Um, that doesn't have a specific time, but the other two do. So you want to make sure if that's what you're after to make sure you're doing it at the right time of the day. And those, if you're hunting for those three, you could definitely make anywhere from 50 to 100 gold an hour. 
and in Ajera, you could definitely make even more money if you get some essence of water or elemental waters. Like, you could definitely make over 100 gold an hour just fishing. And it takes pretty much no skill. You could pretty much be a level 35 minus in the higher level zones. You could be getting attacked by mobs. So I do recommend it to be on a level 60 character. And just wanted to thank again all of my Patreon subscribers. They now all get early access to all of my videos. So I have 10, 15 videos pre-recorded that I release one a week. So they'll get access to all of my gold making videos, my investing videos and everything, you know, weeks if not months before they ever become public to everybody else so they get a head start. And I'll put their names on the screen there. Thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want to check in the top right corner, that's a 60 second video on when I did an hour test at Stranglethorn Vell fishing. Check that out if you want to see how much I made per hour. And as always, guys, game on.